Crush grape. For all that matters in your life, when you're a little bit thirsty, do you wake up with a dry throat in the morning? Crush grape. <laughs> <laughs> if we do this again, propel. Grape zero. You know what, Jay? I think that's what it's called. Forget that. I'm about to take this to the next level. I know what it needs. You not. You better. Yeah. I gotta I get this. I know what it needs. Oh my god! That's the thumbnail! You know what? A nice little tight grape flavor on that crushed grape. And I'm talking about a type of crushed grape where you just got big feet smashing and stepping all over the grapes. Probably why I don't drink it. Me? I drink Propel Grape Zero. Ooh. Yes, I do. <laughs> It's all, the taste should be the same except for the fact that it's not frozen. So. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm always part of science experiments. I have no idea, but you know what? You for YouTube, I got you. The Food Titan, I got you. I told you why it was boiling. It had that after stink that was coming up. When you first hit it, when you first hit what was supposed to be that crushed grape ice cream with the vanilla flavor and extra cream on the side. It was creamy. And that crushed grape flavor came through strong. And the initial taste wasn't half bad. I was like, ooh, okay. And then as it started to work down into my soul, the after funk of that crushed grape came back up up off that cold flavoring that hit my palate. And that's when I realized it was not as amazing as it started out. So it was something where you can sit there and say to yourself, oh, this is great, but you're gonna have to mix it. You know what? You know, I know what it needed. Thank you, JP and Julia, for coming through with some KFC. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because sometimes when you get something funky, you're gonna have to wash it down with some chicken while holding the watermelon. Cause that's the only way to enjoy anything with grape flavor. <laughs> oh man, that doesn't look good. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, oh yeah, nice. You got a little uh, teaspoon there. A little teaspoon action. That's Skip called it. the no thank you helping. That's like you don't want it, but you have to have it. It's called the no thank you helping. Oh, let's try this. All right. Cheers. Cheers. I taste grape soda. It is. It's some heavy, <laughs> heavy grape soda action. Oh man, the way that vanilla ice cream comes screeching through is, oh, that that's that's some good stuff. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of this. I'm gonna put it simple. The vanilla ice cream makes it taste good, and the grape soda makes it not taste as good. So it's the vanilla ice cream is just like, come on, I'm coming fighting in there. Through. I'm fighting through to make you taste good. And then that grape soda keeps smacking you back in the face. And then of course giving you that uh, at the end. But you know what? You could actually take this back to your childhood. You know what I'm saying? With yeah. all grape soda probably had a funky aftertaste. <laughs> yeah. But then you always had that amazing vanilla ice cream. And then at the end of the day, it all made sense when you blend the two together. Now if we're going off and basing this on our childhood flavors, mm -hmm. that's a five all day, Jay. Yeah. But if we're basing it off 2016, it needs a little bit of help. You know what I'm saying? Vanilla ice cream is definitely a great look. Crushed grape soda, <laughs> it is what it is, but it adds a nice little tartness to that vanilla bean action happening for your face and your taste buds. Each and every single bite of delight is gonna give you a nice little fizz. And that's what time it is. Yeah. We're rocking out with the greatest right now, you know what I'm saying? JP, a healthy junk food, your main man, Dame Drops, yeah. Mr. Super Official, Food Titan himself. YouTube, this is how it goes down. Uh. Now I'm just you gotta try some. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta try some. Don't be a hater. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like Ratatouille when he eats Ratatouille and it brings him back to being a kid again. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Like. <laughs> that was like the creamsicle pop that no one wanted yes. that was left over in the fridge. Yes. Like you got a big box of creamsicles and that one stayed an extra two months longer than the rest of them. And Damn, you're just like, mm, but I'm kind of want something sweet. You know what? Freezy pop was always left in my fridge. Ugh. Orange. No Yo, the aftertaste orange. is kicking in, bro. No, when it starts don't. to dry up on the roof of your mouth, that, that ain't fly at all, bro. That's exactly I blame the, the crush. If we do this again, propel. Grape Zero. You know what, Jay? I think that's what it's called. Forget that. I'm about to take this to the next level. 
I know what it needs. You better not. You better. Yeah. I gotta I get this. I know what it needs. Oh my god! That's the thumbnail! I know. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, hold that. I know what it needs. Go for Hilarious. the light. Hilarious, go, go for it. <laughs> This is for science. Oh. This is for science. Oh no. This is for science. <laughs> we do a lot of things for science on healthy junk food. Damn, this is nasty. Oh, <laughs> I totally thought you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so good. Five all day. <laughs>